Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we will explain about our case study which is Active Firefighting System We got our site visit at Majlis Bandara Ipoh Then, we got their permission to do some interview session about Active Firefighting System Okay, Active Firefighting System is which can include manual and automatic fire detection and fire suppression Okay, for example, water sprinkler, fire extinguisher, smoke detector, fire detector, and wet or dry risers. Okay, this is a control panel room which is can control the whole ventilating system in the building and will receive the signal in case of fire happen in the building. Okay, as you can see, in the control panel room, have switch as the controller. So when the fire happen at any part of the zones of the building, the LED lighting will turn on immediately when it got the signal from the zone. Okay, usually it have a person in charge, which is responsibility for the control panel room. Of this building okay this is a control panel pump for this building okay it can work automatically when the fire happens in this building okay it have a switch which is can control the pump manually and automatically in case of fire happens okay next is the water storage tank okay water storage tank supply the water into the pump it is used atmospheric tank as the type of water storage tank so that water can be flow out water inside the water storage tank will be flow out to the pump system okay this is a pump room for the majlis banaraya ipoh okay next is the water pump system Okay, water pump system start operating to flow the water supply. Okay, pump system also consists of filtering system to prevent irrigation system from getting clogged up with solid particles. Okay, it is using two types of water pump, which is jockey pump as the main pump, duty pump and standby pump. Okay, the jockey pump maintains the pressure in the system elevated to the specific level when the system is not in use okay, when the pressure in pipe goes down duty pump and standby pump will take the action okay, volt and empire meter at each control panels will show how much the pressure however if they have emergency of electric supply pump system will be operating when the diesel generator operate immediately okay, next is the filter pump Okay, filters can help extend the life of and lower the maintenance on your sprinkler system. Filtering system to prevent irrigation system from getting clogged up with solid particles. Screen filters are the most common types of filters available in the market because they are the cheapest ones. Screen filters are great for removing hard particles such as sand. Unfortunately, they cannot remove organic materials such as algae and mold from irrigation system so they are not foolproof without a filter is sprinkler heads getting plugged with sediment including small particles of sand slit debris and organic matter the second problem is that sediment will eventually damage the components of the irrigation system
Okay, next is the process. Okay, raw water enters through the filters inlet and passes first through the scores screen which catches large debris and sediment. The water then continues to flow through the filter and passes through the inner fine screen which catches the remaining smaller particles. A differential pressure switch monitors the pressure caused by the accumulation of debris on the inner screen. Then, the water will be pumped, go through the pipe connection between duty and standby pump until it go down through pipe to the sprinkler valve set. Okay, next is the sprinkler alarm valve. Okay, sprinkler alarm valve operates to help the flow water through the pipe risers until water spray out from sprinkler heads. Okay, first, water will go through the sprinkler control valve first as it has pipe risers before continuously spray out from the every sprinkler. Okay, second, pipe risers help the water to get rich to the sprinklers. In the sprinkler control valve, Water supply valve will be opened to make sure the pipe system are fulfilled with water before any fire happens. Okay, water supply side pressure gauge system will show how much the pressure of water flow. After pipe system fulfilled, water supply valve will be closed once the pressure is statically at 0.5 psi. When water get through the pipe, it will stop by drain valve and open when sprinkler activated. Water also through the filter valve but still cannot reach retard chamber because water supply valve closed. The water will continuously flow through the pipe system when they are already water become reduced because the spray out. Okay, the last step is sprinkler heat will spray out the water continuously. Okay, after glass bulb broken because of fire, water that already fulfilled in the pipe will flow out. At the same time, water supply valve open immediately as manual. Lastly, the sprinkler heads can spray out the water over the fire continuously until the fire stop. Okay, this is a general drawing plan of the water sprinkler system.